I'd never seen a market like this. You could buy almost anything. But Bourbon owed money to the Hansa sentries and was anxious to leave. Holster your weapons at once. Who are you? Come into the line. Slowly, slowly. I'll be them. Bourbon. Hey, guys, we'd better search these two. <laughs> so, you all drunk. What are you carrying this time around? Who's the boy? Look here, boss. I'm sure we can work this out. Sure? Let's go and chat a little. And you keep an eye on this one, huh? Don't move! Stand still, I'm talking to you! Okay, these two may pass. Welcome to the market. Let's move our asses, or would you like to enjoy their company a little more? Hey, watch your tone. We're in deep shit. No way I can pay back those railcar guys. We'll be lucky if they let us shovel shit for the rest of our days. But did you see it? No. It could have been an enemy scout. Now it knows what our defenses are. They'll overrun us, then butcher the entire station, just like Polis. The next thing that comes down that tunnel, I don't care, it's a fucking mouse. No passport, you shoot it. What happened at Politsaskaya? You haven't heard? It's very strange. A detachment of scouts went off into the tunnel, so didn't report back. I mean, they were seasoned men, so the station commander figured they got held out by a cave-in or flooded chamber. A patrol went after them. The tunnels were clear. No signs of firefight, no body parts, no blood. The scouts had vanished without a trace. So the commander wrote it up as an act of desertion. Chicken shit the hell with them, that's what he said. So, a week later, another patrol disappears. Again, no sound, no corpses, nothing. The citizens are pissing their pants by now. Then two more squads vanish. So they set up a fortified perimeter, 300 meters out. Sandbags, spotlights, machine guns. And they wait. But for what? There's something out there, and it's putting a chill on their bones. There's a burnt-out plane right in the middle of that town. When I saw it years ago, there were charred bodies inside some still city. It was a nightmare. The train is difficult to traverse. You can't go around it since the tunnel roof is giving in, and all the space between the carriages and tunnel walls is completely filled with soil. And there was something weird going on inside that train. I'm a rational person. I don't buy all that mystical nonsense. So I thought it was rats and the like, you know? But... So sure. Well, we 
can't go to Hansa. Look. Oh, here are some cartridges. Go get a couple filters, will ya? I have an idea. I'll go have a talk with a certain someone. We could either meet at the local bar or I can find you elsewhere. Well, off you go. You have around five minutes. Hi. What's up? What will it be? I mean, if anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow, Martha Underground Station. What kind of look? What do you care? I'm meeting her today after the watch. No, she promised to go with me to the markers. You bastard! Don't say that again, you asshole! What's your situation, man? All quiet, Igor Vladimirovich. Though I smell a rat for some reason. <laughs> the boss is busy. Come back later. Uh, how about some moonshine? What's the occasion? Driver's Day again? My son said his first word. Congratulations! Was it Mama or Papa? Neither. It was fire! <laughs> A little soldier, just like you! Yeah, just like me. You know, ever since that time the vampires came pouring out of the side, I dream of them every night. There I am, commanding my squad. But their guns are down, and everybody's drunk. His walking corpses are attacking, and I'm screaming, Open fire, you bitches! Open fire! Fire! But my men can't hear me. They wake up soaked in sweat, and my wife and kid are crying. Let's have a drink. Okay. <laughs> Mom won't give me any. Just tell me nah, for free. Just looking. I'm too hungry for that. Not in the mood to be telling tales. Just tell me what it's about. I'll go ask Mom to make a sandwich. It's about three hunters who went to Polozhevsky. Before or after it was wiped out? After, of course. So, what happened? They found out it hadn't been attacked by anyone. It was just the Lord of the Tunnels who made them all kill each other. I have to wow, be. that's cool! Now get that sandwich! What for? I already know everything. Let's go, Wheels! You brat! You dwell mat! I can't take it anymore. Спасибо, спасибо, thank you, Lord. My cousin said if kids go too far, they get caught by the mutants. And the mutants eat the kids' brains. And those kids become mutants too. So when you see your friend, he comes closer and then... Roar! Your brain gets eaten! Wow, cool! Looking for something? A pot, perhaps. It'll come in handy someday. Don't be caught without one. It's a bit too expensive. Yeah, whatever. So, there's this long tunnel from Sukarevskaya to the nearest inhabited place, where lone travelers tend to disappear. A caravan with a dozen men can make it through. And the ones who do say there's nothing suspicious about the tunnel itself. It's quiet and empty. There are no side branches, nowhere to get lost. But the next day... Someone who's heard how nice and safe that tunnel is decides to go there alone and vanishes like a ghost. The stalker said that you must never look at the Kremlin when you are up there outside. The stars on the top of the towers are mesmerizing. One look and you won't be able to turn your eyes away. And after a few moments, you get drawn in. 
and all the gates are conveniently open. That's why the stalkers never go to the Great Library. If one of them looks at the Kremlin, the other can make him come to his senses. The passage is open for residents and local workers only. Knives. Take, take. A cure for everything. That's a deal. Won't find better rates in whole metro. The price is high. It's a bit too expensive. It's a bit too expensive. one last week please mama i'll just play with it and we'll let it go you've got your teddy bear to play with quit wasting food uh, i'll have to think come move try and buy if i'll plug hope at prospect mirror if they catch a merchant with it they confiscate his stuff and kick him out of the station and alex says you get nailed twice you're banned from hansa for a trace that's a death sentence well, the authorities well, claim it kills your brain little by little if you keep taking it for too long. So it's like a, a public health measure. Come on, why would they suddenly outlaw dope? What gives? You know those Krishna guys? Alex heard they plan to break into Kurchatov Institute and make its reactor go critical, so that everyone gets to Nirvana soon. But something's always holding them up. Some of the metro stations are even deeper than ours. Nah, the 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 there were these huge wishes triangles. Bioweapon. Nobody even noticed at first. They didn't even sound an alarm. By the time they realized what had happened, the weapon had already eaten everybody inside and hundreds in the vicinity too. So today, the Kremlin still sits there behind its walls. It's as though the apocalypse had never come. Strange. Well, I made an arrangement with the guy here. He's a greedy asshole, but I can't do anything about that. Great. Let's go then. I think you already know the way. 
This is Moscow Metro. Does anyone read me? Please respond. If anyone reads me. <laughs> Take my spare filter. We need to get up to the surface. Anyone read me. Respond. It's Moscow. Market underground station. This is Moscow Metro. Urban? As if you don't know. Go up and get out. I've already paid, Mike. You didn't pay me. But if you don't want to go through... Shit. A pleasure doing business with you. All right, all right. Just kidding. This is Moscow Metro. Over. Does anyone read me? Get ready, everyone! The gate's opening! Are you sure, Commander? Take your positions! Cover me! Damn, I hate this so much. No one. If anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow. Marvel underground station. This is Moscow. Does anyone read me? Well, it looks quiet. It looks clear! Go! Спасибо. We need to move our ass. 